Hello and welcome again. This video shows how to build all of the parts for the third and final robot in the assembly line. First we're going to start with the steering column, so taking everything passed down from robot 2 here. We're going to take these long, thin, tan pieces. They are six pegs by one, and we're going to place them right across there so that they kind of hold the front bumper and the front chassis together. We're going to place the other one adjacent to it so that they are touching but not connected. Now, we're going to take these trapezoidal red pieces and we're going to lay them right on top. Once again, they should be adjacent to each other to form kind of this big long trapezoid on top right there. Only they need to be moved one more forward. There we go. Now, these one by one red pieces are going to come right up here, and they are going to be on that piece of overhang off of the tan piece with the pegs facing towards the seat. That way, we can take this tan piece with the peg coming out of it, and we can put it right on there so that there's a peg facing towards the seat still that we can attach the steering wheel to, like so. So we've got these tan pieces with the red trapezoids on top, the red block here, with the tan rectangle holding onto the steering wheel. Alright, I'm going to move everything forward here so we kind of get a better view. There we go. Now we are going to move on to the back bumper. For the back bumper, first we are going to take this piece here. Nope. I'm going to turn it around right there, and it gets attached on the bottom of this black square right here that the engine is sitting on top of. Alright, now we're going to take this 2x8 red piece and we're going to attach it to those pegs coming off of the side of the red piece we just used so that those pegs are right on top of that piece. Alright, now we're going to take these dark gray pieces with no pegs on them and we're going to put them right on the edges of this black piece there with only one peg of overhang on the side. We're going to fill those with these slanted smooth red pieces. We're going to put them right here on the top and bottom, right on the sides of this bumper so that the slant is facing outwards, like so. Alright, now the back bumper is complete, and the only thing that the go-kart is missing is the front wheels. Alright, so to put those on, we are going to first assemble the wheels by taking the rims, putting them inside the tires right there. Now we're going to take these light gray pieces with the pegs, and stick those pegs right inside the rims. Oh, except that we put the rims in on the wrong sides. We want it so that the decorated side is facing outwards, like so. Just like a real tire. Alright, and now all that's left is to put the pegs inside the rims, and now we're going to come over, see this long gray piece that's got some overhang right here next to this blue piece. We're going to take the completed tires, oh, there we go, we're going to take those completed tires and we are going to stick that right there underneath that overhang so that that space is no longer 
unused. All right, and there we have the tires attached, and Robot 3 passes on the completed go-kart.